Hi, my name is Tim, and I'll be working you through the on-demand contest process so you can see how everything works start to finish. Uh, so I assume that you've already uh, checked out our website, mathleague.org slash on-demand, <clears throat> read through the information. Uh, I'm actually going to be uh, starting down here at the how the process works uh, and walking you through uh, most of these steps. So uh, first off, Obviously, if you're going to want to take one of our contests, uh, make sure you're familiar with the tests, right? So uh, the instructions here indicate that you can go up to the top of the page and click whichever uh, type of test that you want. I'm going to open it in a new tab so that I can, I'm going to keep this on demand test page up <clears throat> the whole time so that we can always refer back to that. Uh, but I just called up the high school contest, click on the test descriptions, and you'll see that it gives you a list of the different types of tests that, the, that we have. Also, uh, there is a link here for free samples of the tests. So we do want to make sure that you are familiar with what to expect. Uh, you know, for instance, on the sprint round, you're going to want to know that you have 60 minutes to take the test. You're going to want to know that calculators are not allowed for it, uh, that sort of thing. <clears throat> okay, so once you know what kind of tests we offer, um, hopefully maybe you've even taken a look at the, the sample PDFs that we have. Uh, then uh, you're ready to commit to taking the test. So uh, in order to register for our contest, we do have to know what school you go to. So that's where uh, this next step comes in. Your school has to be listed in our database. Well, I'll show you the membership form here real quick. Uh, so if your school is not in our database, uh, you'll actually be able to check whether it is, by the way, uh, by going through this page that I just, that I just clicked the link to. Uh, there's a there's a uh, link right here that says check to see whether your school has a membership. So you go through that. Uh, you can pick your own state or country. Uh, you know, pick whether you're elementary, middle, or high school. And then when you hit submit, uh, it will show you a list of uh, what the schools are that are active for that school year. Uh, you can just scroll all the way down and take a look at uh, the names of the schools. See if your school is there. Uh, if it is not, you can click back to the uh, me the main membership page and you can fill out the membership form. Uh, now, this does need to be filled out by a uh, by an adult uh, over the age of 21. Uh, this could be a parent. It could be a teacher from the school. Basically, the point here is we need to have some sort of contact information for somebody that goes to that school so that we can reach out if we need to. All right, so we need we need a uh, current, uh, by which I mean this this school year membership form for each school that has students participating. Okay, please understand that this does not mean that your school has to take has to officially sponsor our contest. Your school does not have to endorse our contest. Um, if your school is interested in that, we definitely encourage a teacher to fill out the membership form. Uh, but if you are uh, if you are just a, a family uh, taking the test, uh, you know one of the uh, one of the children is taking the test. You can have a parent sign up if nobody from the school is interested. Um, I should probably take this uh, opportunity to make it very clear that Math League policy uh, for over twenty five years has been that nobody, no one, gets to tell you that you're not allowed to take a math contest. All right. So we do have a lot of times that um, parents come to us and they say, oh, my student can't take this contest because the school won't let me. Your school doesn't get to decide that. Your school cannot tell you what you can do with your free time. Math League is open to everyone. We welcome you. Regardless of whether your school wants to help, that's why we allow parents to fill out this membership form. If you uh, if you don't have any support from the school, you can be the school contact. All right, you don't have to get permission from your school. Your school has no legal authority to tell you what you can and can't do on your free time. And we want you to participate in our contests if you're interested. And we promise we will always defend your right to do so. Okay, we even have schools every once in a while. I think most of the schools have learned by now not to pull this stunt, but we do have schools every once in a while that tell us that uh, we need to delete a student's registration because the school won't let them participate. Um, and we tell those schools that they are completely wrong about that, and they don't get to tell us what to do, and they don't get to tell you what to do. We want you to participate in Math League if you're interested, and we welcome you. 
So having said that, we do have an opportunity for the parent to fill this out. If a teacher from the school is not interested, uh, you do need to indicate the, the actual name of your school, though. <clears throat> um, you know, like I said, we will defend your right to take our tests. Uh, but what we will not defend is uh, is anybody trying to uh, give us a fake school name. Right. Uh, you don't get to tell us a wrong name. <clears throat> just because your school doesn't want to participate you still have to fill out this form and it still has to have your actual school name in it all right so as long as you as long as your actual school name is listed on this form you go through all the stuff down here you hit the submit button and your school will show up in our database then at that point then you can start registering for the test so the next step would be to select a contest at the bottom of the page uh, let me just scroll down there uh, so you can see which tests are eligible to enroll for. Uh, we have elementary tests, uh, middle school tests, and high school tests. When you see a blue entry, that means that it is live. You can click to register for that test right now. If the entry is in black and it says registration starts later, just come back on that, uh, on that date where the registration starts and you can register at that point. Now we could register for one of these contests right now. Uh, but I'm actually going to go through the practice test, and uh, you'll notice that right above the list of, of upcoming contests, uh, there's an opportunity to take a free practice test. So this is something you, that I certainly encourage you to do before you take one of our official online tests or on-demand tests. If you haven't already uh, experienced our online test platform, uh, the free practice test will be a great opportunity <clears throat> for you to do that. So I'm actually going to sign up here for a high school free practice test. Um, the reason I uh, the reason I'm doing the free practice test is because then I won't have to pay to actually take the test. Right? When you sign up for one of these tests down here at the bottom, these are actual qualifying tests. And unless you have some sort of a fee waiver, and we do just, uh, we do have some information about that up at the top of the page, unless you have some sort of a fee waiver, you're going to need to pay. Uh, an entry fee in order to take the test. The free practice tests, however, are set up so that you do not have to pay anything. All you have to do is register for the test and you're good to go, All right? So I'm gonna pretend like I am in Arizona. <clears throat> uh, just find your state or country right here. Um, I'm pretending today because, well, uh, I'm not actually a student, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm just showing you how to do it. However, uh, if we have an actual student taking the test, you don't get to make stuff up you have to actually tell us which state or country your school is located in, all right? So put the right information here, make sure and tell the truth, hit register now. And then on this next page, you'll see there's a bunch of uh, information that you need to read through. Uh, so we, we uh, would like for uh, an adult to register their students uh, and that adult is going to read through all this information, make sure that they can agree to our terms. Uh, and then select the name of your school. Again, I'm going to select just a random school here, uh, but when you do this, you are legally required to give us the name of the actual school you attend. Um, we're not interested in dealing with any fraud or any lies or anything like that. Uh, you have to tell the truth about which school you you actually attend. All right, go ahead and put in the name of your registering adult. I'm gonna put down Ernisha as my registering adult. Make sure you put your phone number. I'm gonna put a fake phone number here, but of course, once again, we need you to tell the truth on the form. You need to put your real phone number. And in this case, I'm gonna be registering one student. Uh, if you're gonna be registering more students, uh, just fill in whatever number you want up to the number 24. Um, <clears throat> now I wanna talk about that number 24. You'll notice down here at the bottom, there's space for 24 students to register. Please note, that if we have more than 25, if we have 25 or more students, uh, we want you to email us so that we can send you a separate invoice. Um, this is uh, particularly for the uh, for the official test. All right, for the practice test, uh, just fill out as many of these as you want. I guess uh, for for any students that are taking it, you can fill them all. You can you can fill in as many as you want down here. You can submit another form if you have more than 24 students taking a practice test. But if you're taking the real thing. Um, and you're going to end up paying to take the contest, uh, especially if you have 25 or more students, send us an email uh, because we have special pricing available for large groups and we want to make sure that you get the discount that you're entitled to. Okay, so uh, down here, we're going to put the name of the students that are taking the test. I'm going to put my own name because I'll be the one uh, going through the test. We're going to pretend like I'm a, uh, like I'm a ninth grader here today. 
All right, so I'm selecting ninth grade. Uh, you are required to tell us what grade level you're in. Uh, you don't get to make this up either. Um, every once in a while, we have students who say, oh, uh, I'm in third grade, but I want to I want to compete as a fifth grader. That's not how Math League works. Math League works on truth. You have to tell us what school you go to. You have to tell us what grade you're in. You have to tell us what your real name is, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, it is optional to tell us your gender. You can, uh, we're, we basically just take statistics to see how, <clears throat> how well we're reaching out to various populations. And so we, uh, if you have, uh, if you want to participate in that survey, you can, uh, but you are required to give us your actual real grade, your actual real name. Uh, the chaperone, this is the person who's going to be watching you as you, as you take the test. All right, so nobody gets to just go off and, you know, take the test unsupervised. Uh, we do need an adult in the room watching over you as you take the test, making sure you understand the rules and making sure you're following the rules. Uh, and it is that adult who then is responsible for uh, for your compliance with these rules. <clears throat> so uh, whoever's filling out the form should be an adult filling out the form. It does not have to be the same person up here as down here, right? This form up at the top is for the person who is actually filling out the form, the adult who's filling out the form, getting their students registered. If somebody different is going to be physically in the room watching the student, that's what goes down here in the chaperone. Email. All right, as far as the test language goes, um, there are a number of tests that we've offered translations for in the past. Um, <clears throat> every test is offered in English for sure, uh, but sometimes it will say on the test registration that there are other languages available. And if so, you can select another language. If it does not say, if it does not indicate that another language is available, then you need to just go ahead and select English because that would be the only uh, language uh, that is available. Uh, if we do have other languages, however, uh, that are listed on the register on the contest listing, right? It'll say right here with this with this blue. Uh, line, it'll say if there's an, uh, other languages available. Um, and if so, you're free to pick that language over here. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and register for the test in English. Uh, we're going to read through all the stuff. Uh, make sure that you, uh, make sure that the adult filling out the form has read all of this page, filled out all the information, and then down here you're agreeing to follow the rules. Imagine that. Um, now. Down here at the bottom, you just need to write the number that's two plus three. I'll give you a hint, it's five. Uh, you'd be surprised how much spam that actually stops um, because the spam bots can't uh, can't parse that and they don't know that they just need to type the digit five here. But you do. And so you're gonna write the five, you're gonna hit the submit button, and then now you are registered for the test. Now, this should show up in, your, uh, in the email box of the adult who uh, registered the student. Uh, but it's also here as well. So you'll notice there's a bunch of uh, information here that you're going to want to read through. Uh, a lot of it reiterates what was on the previous page. Uh, this is the important stuff that you need to know, right? Uh, including the event number and the ID number. Please make sure that you uh, have a record of both of those, the event number and the ID number. I'm going to leave this page here so that I can come back and copy and paste those two pieces of information when it's time. But we are now registered for the contest. So, uh, and I just looked at my email inbox and I see that I did get a, uh, an email uh, indicating a confirmation of my registration. So let's come back to our on-demand page. Uh, what happens next after registered? Ah, oh, we're going to log into our online contest platform. So here is the link to log into that. Let's just open that link. And the link is going to look like this. So you're going to type in your last name, and uh, we're going to put in the event number, which if I go back to my registration page, I had, or you can look in your email confirmation for that. My event number is 10505. Let me just copy and paste that over here. ID number, if I go back to this page, the ID number is, it says right here, ID number. So I'm going to copy that and put that into the page. All right, now the, the tests can be taken in any order. Now, remember, you've already familiarized yourself with the test. You know that you're going to be taking several different tests, potentially. Uh, you are not required to take every test, but we do have a number of tests available for each age level. If you are an elementary student, uh, this is great, uh, anything up to grade six, uh, then you're going to be taking number sense. There are four different target rounds that you'll take one at a time. Uh, 
There's a sprint round and there's a team test. If you are a middle school student, this is grades six through eight. You're only going to be taking the four target rounds and the sprint and the team. If you are a high school student um, or you're taking the high school test, uh, this would be anything up to grade 12. Uh, mostly it's students in grades 7 through 12 who will participate in high school tests. Uh, you're going to take everything but number sets. So you're going to have four different target sets that you're going to go through. You're going to have a sprint round. You're going to have a team test. You're going to have five different relays to go through. Now, the relays are only three minutes each, so it's not, it's, it, it's, it's not as, uh, as time-consuming as it sounds. Anyway, let's go ahead and start with the relay. Uh, it doesn't matter where you start. You can start with any of the tests. Uh, now, the, remember, I signed up for a high school test, right? So we're not going to start with number sense because there is no number sense for high school. But I can take any of the rest of these uh, in any order that I want. I'm going to start with relay. Uh, the chaperone, we're going to write the name of the chaperone here. And <clears throat> now we're going to log in, right? You hit the submit, and this logs you in. All right, just to verify what we're supposed to do on this page, we have now logged into the platform. Great. Looks like the next step is to start the test com and complete the test and then repeat the process. All right, so I'll walk you through that without having to come back to this main instruction page. Uh, but this instruction page tells you everything you need to do if you, if you forget it. Uh, there are some special instructions for team and relay also. I want to point that out. Uh, and the reason that is is because... The team test and the relay test are collaborative events. If you have other students from your school who are going to be taking the test with you, uh, you can team up. Uh, the team test can be up to six students for a high school test. It can be up to four students for an elementary or middle school test. The relay is only offered at high school contests, uh, but a relay team can be up to three students from the same school. <clears throat> So you're going to fit into one of three categories, and you've got to pick which one of those categories you're in. If you don't have any teammates, great. You're taking the test by yourself, which is wonderful. Your name and your ID number already show up here. You're, you're good. All you have to do is put in the password. Um, if you know there's another test, of another language available other than English, you can uh, hit the drop-down menu and select that. Um, <clears throat> but if you're testing in English, you just leave it as the default here. So you might be taking the test by yourself. That's great. You're just going to just going to leave everything like it is and put in the password. You might be taking the test with other people. If so, one of you, remember a relay can be up to three people. One of you needs to be the captain of the team. That's the person who's actually going to type the answers in on the next page. And their answers are going to be the ones that get counted. <clears throat> if you are the captain and you're going to be responsible for submitting your team's answers, you click this button. If you are not your team captain, right, you're in a group of people and somebody other than you is the captain, you're going to select this one. This button lets you take the test, but it won't submit answers for you. Okay, so... Uh, so if you're not the team captain, you don't want to be submitting answers for your team. So you would pick this. If you are the team captain, you got to tell us who's on your team. And that's what these extra blanks are for. You would put in the last name and ID number for anybody else who's on your team. All right. <clears throat> Once you've done that, and I'm going to take the test by myself today. So let me go up and hit this radio button. Once you've done that, you're actually ready to take the test. Uh, you know that you know what to expect. You know that the relay round is going to be three minutes, um, and and you're ready to do this. So let's go ahead and put in the password. Uh, the password for our on-demand test is the same as the event number. So the event number is right here. It's the same password. Let's just type it in. So I've typed in the password. We're going to click go to test, and the test starts. You'll notice when the test starts that it tells you which test it is. Relay one. Tells you the test number, 12200. By the way, that was a test that was our, given out as our in-school test in the 2021-2022 uh, the school year. So, uh, so it's an old test. <clears throat> uh, I think it's actually one of the ones that's available as a free PDF download on our website, too. You'll notice that there is a timer here. Uh, you'll also notice that you can't game the timer, right? Two and a half minutes left, right? It started at three minutes. Let's say I looked at the questions. I, I wrote them down on my paper, and I'm like, okay, I want to take all the time I want and, and then start the timer over later. 
But yeah, the problem is if you come back to this page and hit go to test again, it actually knows when you started the test, and it's going to calculate from that first time that you saw the questions. So you'll notice that this didn't start at three minutes when you came back to the, the test. Uh, it knows when you started, and it measures from that time. So <clears throat> just keep that in. All right. Uh, with the relay, then you're going you're to type in your answers. A um, couple things to know about the relay, by the way, just uh, just if, if you're not familiar with the relay. Um, whenever you see the TNYWR, that means you're going to take the answer from the previous problem and plug it in here. Uh, also, all the answers to relay are going to be <clears throat> integers. Uh, the, the format of the question demands that. They're all going to be integers in the range of 0 to 99. So let me just put in some answers here. Uh, we'll call this one 3. Maybe this one is 56. Uh, and this one is 99. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I can either just sit here until the timer hits zero and it will automatically submit my answers and move on to the next page. Or if I'm done with the test and I'm not going to be changing my answers and I, I know that I'm not going to be work doing any more work, I'm just ready to submit and move on, I can hit the submit answers button. Okay. Now, once you've reached this page, you'll notice that we have a confirmation. This actually should also, these answers should have been sent in an email to your chaperone. Um, so you can, as soon as you reach this page, you can actually have your chaperone check their email, make sure that this showed up. And as long as this information showed up in their email box, then you have a record of it. If it doesn't show up, save a copy of this page, right? Just go up to, uh, you know, go, go up to wherever your tools are, whichever browser type you're using, um, and save a copy of the page, uh, take a screenshot, whatever, so that you have a record. Of, of what these were. Um, by the way, once you've submitted, uh, don't try to go back because watch what happens when you go back. Uh, it's either going to reset, it's going to reset the timer to where it started the last time. And of course, once you do that, then all of a sudden uh, the timer is off and you don't actually know if how much time is left. And uh, if you let the timer run out at this point um, or if you submit it after it's, uh, after it's, uh, more than three minutes beyond the start time, uh, then you're going to get an error message. Uh, right. So I mean, maybe you can submit again uh, if it's if the three minutes haven't elapsed. To see what happens though <clears throat> is at some point, uh, you know, if you try to hit that back button, you're like, "Ooh, I, I'm going to try to get an extra, you know, three minutes out of this." Well, it's not actually going to work that way uh, because again, the system is measuring from the time you started. Right. When you hit the back button, it doesn't reload the time. That's the thing. So don't rely on this timer. In fact, I'm just going to sit here, let the timer run out, and I'll show you what happens if you try to uh, if you try to hit the back button and redo the test and get yourself all that extra time. Take a look. All right, so we're coming up on the time uh, or the, the fake end of time. <clears throat> uh, but again, the system knows that it's been more than three minutes, right? This is a fake timer. You made a fake timer by hitting the back button when you weren't supposed to. Take a look what happens when, it, uh, when the timer hits uh, zero at this point, right? It goes back to your original time. It says, wait a minute. You've taken more than three minutes on this test, even though you gamed the system to make it display a fake timer. Uh, you've taken too much time, and your test won't be great. So you do want to watch out for that, okay? Basically, the idea is once you've submitted the test, just go on to the next test. You're done with that test, right? Whether that means that you submitted it during the test or you waited until, it's a time, until it timed out. As you can see... Uh, from this example, it does uh, when it hits when it hits zero, whether it's a real zero or a fake zero, it's going to automatically submit the test. And then, of course, if it was a fake zero and you actually were already out of time, you're going to get this message. If it's a real zero, then you'll get that confirmation page like you saw before. Okay, <clears throat> let's go through, and uh, you'll notice that if we, uh, you know, when you're done with relay one, you're going to pick relay number two. You hit submit. Uh, it's all the same deal, right? If you 
are the captain or if you're with people with other team members and somebody else is the captain pick the appropriate radio button if you are the captain make sure your team members get in here and of course we just put the password in again you're going to go to the test you get a different set of questions here this is relay number two now you can see at the top of the page put in some answers and when you're ready you can hit the submit button now there's one thing i want to show you about this uh, confirmation page once you're here you don't actually have to hit the back button all the way to the to the first page you can just click this here button and it'll take you back to the first page with all your information populated again okay so we've gone through two relays now you you would have relay three relay four relay five uh let's talk about what else there is there's a team test so you hit the submit button you'd select the team test hit the submit button notice there are more spaces here because for a high school test you are allowed up to six people on a team so again if you are a team captain you'll put the names and id numbers of all your teammates in here if somebody else is a team captain you select this button remember selecting that button means that your your test won't get auto submitted right so you're not submitting any test if you're not a team captain your captain's submitting for you. And of course, if you're taking the test by yourself, that's fine too. Anyway, hit the password, go to test, and you'll see all the team round questions here. <clears throat> so just like with the others, you know, type in your answers. Uh, you're going to uh, do all the problems. You have 20 minutes to do the team test. You've got your timer counting down. Let it run out if you want to take the full 20 minutes, or if you want to be done with the test early, you hit the submit button, get to the confirmation page, check your email if you if this confirmation page came through. If it didn't, you might want to save a copy or a screenshot of this. And then you hit the here button to go back and take the next test. Uh, let's say we want to take the sprint test now. <clears throat> Select Sprint, hit Submit. You'll notice that we don't have to put in any teammates here, so this is really just a matter of making sure your uh, making sure your information is correct, and then hitting the password. Go to the test, and the one thing I want to show you for high school and elementary school, our Sprint test is multiple choice. <clears throat> so and you'll notice I I started with an hour on my Sprint timer. Uh, that's because it's a high school test. If you're taking an elementary or middle an elementary or middle school test, you will have 40 minutes instead of 60 minutes. High school sprint is uh, multiple choice, so you just pick whichever of the answers you want. Uh, remember, plus four for, for for a correct answer is for the multiple choice at least. You're going to get plus four if it's correct, minus one if it's incorrect, and no change in your score if it's not an answer. So you can leave the question blank no answer if you don't want your score to go up or down for that but if you want to uh, register a guess then you'll either get plus four or minus one depending on whether it's correct or not All right so you fill in your answers whatever you want and then of course you can let the timer get down to zero uh, and submit for you or you can hit the submit button whenever you're done same as always you get a confirmation page it tells you what answers you selected it's also going to your email, and then you just hit that here button when the next test comes up. So we've gone almost all the way through a high school test at this point. Uh, the only things that are left are going to be the target tests. Uh, so we're going to start with the target one, two. You don't have to. You can start with target seven, eight if you want. You know, um, I it's usually usually students will start with target one, two. You hit the submit button. Just like the sprint round, you don't have to fill in any teammates or anything because target and sprint or tests you take by yourself. Put in the password, go to the test, and a target round is going to be two questions. For high school, you'll notice we started at 10 minutes. If it's elementary or middle school, you'll start at six minutes for each pair. So we've got two questions here that we have. Uh, we can put in answers. And we can hit the submit button if we don't want to wait for the timer to run out. You get your confirmation page. It's the same thing over and over again for each one of the tests. Every test is the same way, right? You put in your password, you do the test, you either submit yourself or let it submit for you, and then you get to the confirmation page. You hit that here button and you start over. Now, um, you would go through three, four, and then five, six, and then seven, eight, and then you're done with the high school test. So let's say you want to go back into one of the tests you've already done, right? Ah, relay number one. Uh, 
I've already done that one, but uh, you know, I saw the questions, I wrote them down. I've, I've, I've spent an extra couple of days working on them. And I, now I know I'm sure of the answers because I've, because I've taken so many hours to do them. Let's go back in and cheat on relay one. So I hit the submit button and look at what happens, right? Remember the system knows, right? I don't know if you noticed what happened when the, when the page flashed up there, I hit the password. It put the test up for just a second, and then it said expired, and it took it away from me and came to this. All right, so this is what happens if I uh, if you try to go back in and take the test when you're not supposed to, when you've already taken it once. So anyway, that's how it all works. Uh, once you've taken all of the tests that you plan to take, uh, then uh, you just wait for the for the uh, test date window to close and we'll process all the results and uh, post the results on our website. Um, again, if you're taking a practice test, uh, we're not actually processing those, uh, so you'll never see a score for your practice test. Uh, but if you're taking an official online or an official on-demand qualifying test, then um, after the last day of the testing window is complete, everybody's had a chance to take the test. Uh, we process our answers. Um, and we'll post the results so that you can see what your score is and also whether you qualified for the championship round. Uh, so that's how it works. Uh, coming back to the uh, main page, I think our email address was on here somewhere. Uh, if you have any difficulty, customercareatmathlete.org is how you can get some assistance uh, if you're having any trouble at any point of this process. So uh, good luck to you with the tests. Uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. And uh, we want to uh, wish you the best as you compete in our on-demand tests. Thank you.